here. Okay, huh? the blaze is terrible, and something keeps exploding. Okay. Yeah, we have a, a pan. Let's see here. Oh, Let's my God. You that. need to hurry up and get help, okay, sir. Okay, well, I do have a case in. Let me just give me Oh, I hear here. some police cars going. The apartment okay. building is on fire. Okay, we're getting people started out to you, okay? All right, thank stay, you. Stay on the phone uh, with me, hurry, okay? Hurry, hurry. There's a lot of flames here. I know, I know. Can you see any injuries? I, I don't know, though. The, the apartment building is completely destroyed. Frantic 911 calls moments after a Navy jet from Oceana crashed into an apartment complex in Virginia Beach. Navy investigators back today at the Mayfair Muse Apartments on Birdnick Road. They're searching for evidence that will help them piece together what happened. The digital data recorder may help. They found that yesterday. And a Navy spokesperson tells us crews recovered and moved the wings in the rear fuselage on Monday. Here's a new picture just into the wavy newsroom, giving you a different perspective of what the crash scene looks like today. The jet's engines will remain at the scene to be studied, and the Navy says they should be finished removing all the debris by the end of the week. Residents lined up this morning to replace important documents such as birth certificates, marriage licenses, and death certificates. Ten of your sides, Art Khan joins us now from the scene. So, Art, what's going out there today? Going on out there today? Yeah. Well, well, Nicole. Good afternoon to you. Uh, I think probably one of the best ways to describe what's taking place out here now, where we are right now, is something that one of the state troopers on the scene said to me just a little while ago, and that is, he said, the footprint is beginning to get smaller out here. If you take a look over here behind me, I'm. Birdneck Road. Now, traffic has been running both ways since Saturday. However, there's a lot less police and emergency vehicles out here. So, certainly, that's encouraging. flying over. That said, uh, I must tell you that there's still, I understand, a good deal of frustration on the part of residents of Mayfair Muse uh, wanting to get in and get their belongings because, of course, not all the buildings were destroyed. A short while ago, though, I spoke with the property manager, Earl Moyer, who's been very helpful to us. I've made all my reports. I think people see it's, it's going uh, the way it needs to be going and uh, there's a certain amount of time it takes to get to the investigation and you just have to follow through with rigor and detail on that and get to the right answers and then deal with whatever the investigation shows. So I'm, I'm good with where we're going and, and what we're doing. All right, that was Art Khan reporting live for us from out there. The wind is pretty strong and it's causing some problems with our signal, but Art, they're wrapping up with, that things are kind of getting a little bit more back to normal today with fewer crews there on the scene and some of the uh, wreckage has been moved away from the scene and we'll have more for him coming up later on in this newscast. Tonight, Virginia Beach City Council will make a resolution affirming the city's support that Naval Air Station Oceana remain the, on the East Coast and its master jet base. They will also urge Hampton Roads Congressional Delegation to continue its support of the base.